Don't steal our son. The Thrills on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me Steve Merchant. Over there, Carl Pilkington. The man who believes anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be a condition due to his little round head. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like, it might be a new condition that uh, we can call cranial sferity. <laughs> and it, cause it's, it presses on his lobes and the only sort of upshot of that is, he's normal everywhere but he believes everything he reads <laughs> or yeah. sees on Ananova. Mm. Mm. Alright? Talking of which, Rick, I don't really follow the news. No. It's mainly boring, isn't it? Wars and stuff. Yeah. But I don't know- Well, yeah. Well it is a war, it's just, it's all this nonsense before and after. When it's a war, it's, you know, it's in the middle of the war, you can watch it on telly. True. You get results, true, true, true. you know what I mean? Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a test match or something. But it's all this rubbish before and after, this drags this, on. This recent war seemed, I thought, just generally it was better presented than the previous one. Because I remember the, well, golf, the first Gulf War, it was, it was often during the night and I wasn't, couldn't stay up. Yeah, because enough. I think the American had rights to it, like the Tyson fight, so we, yeah. had, to, we had to get it at two in the morning. Exactly. Which is annoying. They had, it, you know, their prime time in that. Yeah. And yeah, a lot yeah. of it was in black and white, it was when the bombs went in. So, uh, this no. Time, they seemed a lot more colourful. Yeah, 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 it's much better coverage. I think they should win awards. Yeah, well, I'd like for to it. So, like Channel 4 won for cricket. Yeah, I mean, a few times as well, I was quite pleased to see, you know, they actually had footage of the bombs exploding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 no, good, well it's done. Generally, you know, good on you. Yeah. Well done. Um, good on you. Yeah, I don't know it costs you... a lot though, doesn't it? It isn't a costly. Wars thing. a lot more when you got something like you know uh, a Jimmy Carr game show, which probably costs about underground. Yeah, like half an hour of war costs oh, no. millions. It's almost man. as expensive as like Terminator Three or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know. But, but then you know you got you got a variety. Exactly. Sorry, Steve, you were talking, mate. <laughs> well, no, I just uh, just want I just wanted to make sure you were aware that the um, the World Elephant Polo Championships have taken place. I did get it. You're I think they that. mentioned it on, yeah, yeah, we won, didn't we? England won. Yeah. Well, I, my question is, where have they been practicing? I don't know. I, I, do you remember ever at school anyone ever saying to you, <laughs> are you interested in playing, uh, polo do with it was, elephants? It was, do you reckon it was five blokes in pith helmets kept sneaking into a whips nade? <laughs> what are you doing, lads? We're practicing. Get, get down. Yeah. Get off them elephants. Yeah. I genuinely, I don't, I didn't even know we had a team. I elephant, can't believe it. No, but it's like Johnny Wilkinson and the rugby lads, they're gonna get MBEs, all sorts. The elephant boys, the elephant polo boys, nothing. They get nothing. I haven't seen the but, sun you know, talking to be, like To them. be fair, it's not like horse polo where I think, I don't think you, there's a stick long enough. I think the elephants kick it, don't they? I think you might be right. I think they're not allowed to use their tusks. They'd burst it, weren't they? Mm, I think they go, oh! <laughs> Start again. Raheem! Yeah. What do you mean the elephants kick it? All right, I've, got, I've opened a can of worms here. Uh, you know, um, um, normal polo on a horse, they have like, um, yes, they mallets. Them up. Yeah, they whack them, right? But I think it's, obviously they're too high up. I think, I, I, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they just train the elephant to kick it. So, so like, why are people something about, why not just let them have a kick about without- <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that! And why does horse racing have to have a jockey? Well, they just let the horses go, I oh, you know, okay lads, on your, no cheating, <laughs> on your marks, get set, go, you know, get back here, get back here. Brilliant. Why do you think, just, I'll tell you what, that, I, I'm gonna be like a teacher now, why do you think? Uh, just sort of get mixed up which hand they sort of go in, which hand they've got to get the ball in. Sort of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How do you, how do you sort of steer an elephant as it were? How do you ride an elephant? It seems quite a complicated procedure. I don't imagine they're quite as versatile as a horse. No, you can't sort of like pull it and its head goes, no. can you? No. I mean, I don't really know how you, I mean, you have to have a huge playing surface, wouldn't you? I mean, these are big creatures. Yeah. They, they, they use Kent. <laughs> well, exactly. Yeah. They, and they drop two big, uh, huge jumpers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry, one, one in, uh, yeah, south <laughs> of Kent, one in north Kent. <laughs> exactly. And it takes days and, and is there, days. And is there the full, is there like eleven on each team? Yeah, and one on the subs bench. <laughs> exactly. And it, it keeps breaking, the bench is broken. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. <laughs> he's living because he's never getting chosen. He's never, he's never getting chosen, yeah. yeah. When he doesn't turn up to training. Of course, and he's, he's never gonna forget. He's down the lake. Exactly. Down at the lake, when they should be training, eating too many <laughs> buns. <laughs> exactly. Like gas coin. <laughs> right, Carl, come on then. Oh, Carl, and on the line just must tell you on. as well about Lord Admiral Nelson's erotic letters. Go on. They've been sold at last. <laughs> For hundred and seventeen thousand pounds. Sunday mail. Them. I don't know who bought them. <laughs> <laughs> who opened them that shouldn't yeah. have? They, they got sent to someone else. To you? They were meant for Lady Hamilton. <laughs> what are you doing opening them? <laughs> Go well, on. Uh, what's he say? What's he got up to? 
She, uh, it's interesting because they've printed a couple of the things he's wrote. Dear Lady Hamilton, uh, a bit of a problem. Uh, just the one hand. You might have to help me out on a couple of <laughs> yeah. maneuvers. Yeah, and the one eye, so I'm not appreciating the 3D. <laughs> exactly! I don't care where you put it. Yeah, exactly. it, I don't, I, Yeah, go on. <laughs> you have to help me guide it in. You might have to go across the other side of the room for the good it do me. Exactly. Go on then. Um, uh, of course he ended up kissing Hardy, didn't he? <laughs> did he kiss Hardy or did he ask him and he never did? Well, I don't know. I don't know about this, because I heard that he didn't and it said kiss me, which means fake, and then I heard that he did say kiss me. Kiss, kiss me, me Hardy. Hardy. Like, you know, because it, it was great suspense. I don't know, is it Kismet or is it Kiss Me? Kiss Me Hardy. I think his final actual dying breath was no tongues. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. And, uh, uh, and someone went, cause you're what? <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Maybe my, that was his my, nickname. My name's Smith. Yeah. Do you want me to kiss? <laughs> exactly. Kiss Me Hardy. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> I'll kiss your lips and you'll be happy with it. <laughs> but, uh, I'll yeah. touch you, Hardy. <laughs> but I'm not kissing it, go on. Couple of quotes from there. Uh, this is him writing to, uh, Lady Hamilton, who he was having a, an affair with. I can neither eat or sleep for thinking of you, my dearest love. I never touch even pudding. Well, I think we've all written a letter like that to a lady. That's a euphemism. <laughs> that's like, I, that, I think that's, I haven't eaten, and by the way, I haven't even knocked one out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you are gonna get a sackful. <laughs> Alright, Carl? Hello, <laughs> producer. Is this alright? It's all euphemisms. I've not said anything wrong. Go on. Oh, come on, it, it happened in the 19th century. Yeah. We can talk about it, you know. Yeah. This is more topical than monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen, we're sorry, we better get back to the competition. I'm worried that we've, uh, we've lost sight of that competition, because I'm not gonna lie to you, we've had no entries whatsoever so far. <laughs> I can't believe that, because I actually got up most of those. That's actually a more accessible one. I knew, I, I think I know all the artists and I'm stuck on, um, uh, Girlfriend, but I think I might know who that is. Let's hear it again. I'm surprised. And now I think that's a pretty accessible one. An there. accessible quiz? Yeah, so no one's. Is the email up or no one's listening? No, well, I think there's a little bit of that. But, um, we. I think we've accidentally closed down the texting. Oh. So if, if you're texting in. This <laughs> is rubbish. That. It really is awful, isn't it? Yeah. Just, just play it again. Hang on a minute. I tell you what it was. We didn't give out the prizes. We didn't say what the prizes oh. were going to be. That's the reason. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the emails are going to go oh, mental yeah. when they when they find out it's the first series of Open All Hours on VHS. They'll okay, be uh, yeah. flooding in. And see what and the got, Bridget yeah. Nielsen video. Exactly. Right. Oh dear. Oh, no, God. actually, it's not too bad. Go on. The best air guitar albums in the uh, yeah, in the that's world. still going. That's, <laughs> that's one evergreen. And two. <laughs> That'll keep running and running. Uh, Some kind of anniversary box set of a Doctor Who episode with a small model one car. Wants that baby. I'm Alan Partridge series two. That's yeah. worth having, obviously, and yeah. Porridge series three. Okay, good. If not. Uh, Watched all of them on UK Gold, then <laughs> <laughs> them on DVD. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> right. So yeah, let's hear it again. Alright. Just name the artist, that's all we want, just yeah. the artist. Ricky <laughs> 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 uh, at xfm.co.uk. Play record. Ryan Adams? Yeah. Yeah, oh, this is absolutely fantastic. His version of Wonderwall, mm. if you've not Beautiful. heard it yet, you'll be loving it. You'll be loving this.